Welcome to Sarah's class. Today we are discussing the topic problems related to resistance and resistivity of the conductor. So we can go to the topic. So the first question, the potential difference between the terminals of an electric heater is 60 volt. The current drawn is 4 ampere. What current will heat it drawn if the potential difference is 120 volt? So for the first thing we have to see the voltage is given. So the voltage is given as 60 volt and the current is given as 4 ampere. So we know the relation R is equal to V divided by I. So we know the relation R is equal to V divided by I. So what you have to do, what is the voltage? 60 and what is the current? 4. So what is the answer we are getting? answer is 15 ohm the answer is 15 ohm the voltage is increased next we have to see the voltage is increased to 120 volt next the voltage is increased to 120 volt so here the resistance we have found is 15 ohm so we have found out the resistance as 15 ohm and we have to find the what we have to find we have to find the current so we have to find the current so, what is the relation between the current? I is equal to V divided by R. I is equal to V divided by R. So, what is V? V is 120 and the resistance is 50. So, answer is 8 ampere. So, the answer is 8 ampere. So, here the first we have the potential difference is given as 60 volt and the current is given as 4 ampere. So, in that case we have to find the resistance R is equal to V divided by I. So, we get the resistance as 15 ohm. Next we have to we have increasing the voltage to 120 volt. So, that resistance is 15 ohm we have already find out. So, next we have to find the current. So, to find the current what is the equation I is equal to V divided by R. So, here the voltage is given as 120 and the resistance is given as 15. So here what we get, the current we are getting as I is equal to 8 ampere. I is equal to 8 ampere. So we can go to the next question. So second question, how much current will an electric device draw from a 220 volt source? So here the resistance of the bulb is given and the resistance of the heater coil is given. So we have to find the current for the bulb and the resistor and the current for the heater coil. So first we have to find the case of the bulb. So in the case of the bulb, what is the voltage given? Voltage is given as 220 volt and what is the resistance given? Resistance is given as 1200 ohm. Next, what is the equation to find the current? I is equal to V divided by So here, what is V? 220 divided by 1200. So here, this will cancel and we will get the answer as 0.18 ampere and we answer as 0.18 ampere. Next, we have to find the current in case of heater coil. So, heater coil, what is the voltage of the heater coil? It is also 220 volt and the resistance of the heater coil is 100 ohm. So, next we have to find the, next we have to find the current. What is I? I is equal to V divided by R. So it is 220 divided by 100. So here is 2.2 ampere. It is 2.2 ampere. So we can go to the next question. So here third question. A copper wire of length 2 meter and area of cross section 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter square has a resistance of 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 ohm. Calculate the resistivity. So we have studied the resistivity. To find the resistivity, what's the equation? Rho is equal to R A divided by L. Rho is equal to R A divided by L, where R is the resistance, A is the area of cross section, and L is the length of the conductor. So what is first we have to write the things what is given in the question. So what is the resistance given? Resist, resistance is given as 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 ohm. Next what is the area of cross section given? A is equal to 
1.7 into 10 raised to minus 6 10 raised to minus 6 meter square so length is also given meter so next we have to find the resistivity so we can directly multiply the answer things 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 into area of cross section 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by 2 so when we are uh, multiplying this when we are calculating this one the part to the uh, 10 to the powers so we getting 10 raised to minus 8 2 into 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by 2 so what's the answer you are getting 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter so we can go to the next question the next question a copper wire of diameter 0.5 millimeter and resistivity 1.7 10 raised to minus ohm meter what will be the length of the wire to make it resistance of 10 ohm so here the diameter is given the diameter is given as 0.5 millimeter the diameter is given as 0.5 millimeter so here we have the diameter is given so you have to find the radius so what are the equation to find the radius r is equal to d divided by 2 so here 0.5 divided by 2 is a what's answer 0.25 millimeter 0.25 millimeter so next it is given in millimeter so the radius is equal to we have to convert that into meter so 0.25 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter Point two five into 10 raised to minus 3 the radius is given as 0.25 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter next we have to find the area of cross section area of cross section is a is equal to pi r square pi r square so what is the value of pi 22 divided by 7 into what is the radius given 0.25 into 10 raised to minus 3 whole square so on multiplying and dividing this answer we are getting the value as 0 0.196 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter square 0 0.196 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter square so next is resistivity is given as a rho is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter and the resistance is given as 10 ohm next we have to see the length of the wire so the length r rho is equal to we know the relation rho is equal to r a divided by l so from this equation we get l is equal to r a divided by rho so what's the resistance given resistance is given is 10 and divided by what is the length given the length is given what is resistivity given 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter so on calculating we get it as a here this minus 8 become go to up it become plus sir, so it become 2 so here answer is 122.7 meter so the answer is 122.7 meter so thank you for watching the video we can meet in the next class with the resistance in series so thank you for watching